Bye. to show us what he's got in his hand. Yeah. He's fascinated with the, the look of his face in the screen. My hair looks pretty too. Eat okay. the picture. Um... <laughs> okay. Yay! Good job. All right, now we hear Isaiah out at the door. Anna, what are you up to? Washing dishes. You look like you're doing a beautiful job. I love you, Anna. I love you, Anna. Are you excited about being the overseer of the home while me and Daddy go out on our date? If everybody's good, yeah. Yeah. Did you see that foot action where she just rolls the drainer out with her foot? Wow. That's it's like a real profession. Talent. I mean, I've been doing dishes for years, so it takes a lot to do this. Meanwhile, what's happening, you guys? I want to tell you about a crazy way my morning started today. So I come into the office like six something in the morning, turn off the alarm, and I come in and I start doing some of my work because I'm going about my business. And then I thought, you know, I'm always walking around trying to get in, exercise, get some steps in for the day. <laughs> I gotta do a mail out. I'm gonna go walk around in the auditorium while I'm working on my envelopes and knock out these steps this morning. Nobody else is here in the office at the time. And so I get over to the door on the other side of this door. I'm about to come in over here and I can hear kind of an alarm sound going off over here, but it's not like the big security alarm. I didn't know what was going on. I've never heard that sound before. So I walk in here and then I walk up, come to the keypad and I disable the main alarm, but then I'm still hearing some other kind of sound. And so then I come over here to the auditorium. I walk into this big dark room. So this, this light was flashing, you know, it's like right in there, you could see it, it flickering right there. Except this morning, when I first come in, that light was going off and it was going off over here, here, here. And it was just like this big light show going back and forth. I didn't know what was going on. So I, I take off, I'm working my way down here and you know, doing my business, getting in my steps. That light's going off, and like I said, it's going off all around this place. So anyways, I'm getting on the phone. I'm calling up somebody here from the office, trying to ask them what's going on. I didn't know what to do. And they said, oh, run up, run up to the place where the, the firebox is. And so then I take off that one. And so then I make it into this room and I find this box and I read this code. I didn't know what to do and somebody told me, push this one button. So I push that button and it seems to go quiet. And so I, I walk out of the room and then as soon as I get out of here and I'm about to go down these steps, the, mass, the big alarm goes off. And so then I'm running again. And I'm running. And I'm trying to get up here. 
And at that moment, everything goes off, it goes quiet again. But then I start hearing the other little sound going off over there. Long story short, I'm doing this back and forth. They had me go and plug something and all this stuff. Nothing's working, nothing's working. Alarm company is never calling. Fail, fail. And then eventually I sat down and I had to sit at the front door with a chair and I worked on my mail out. Every 90 seconds that alarm would go off without fail. Blaring in the neighborhood. Disable it. Lick some envelopes. Disable it. Do envelopes. Just wanted to show you something else that I discovered along the way. We've been getting a lot of rain around here. I thought worms like the moisture, but for whatever reason, the worms are in retreat. Oh yeah, that's a dead one. Hold on. I guess he'd been in a little too long. Oh, that one's dead too. But what I found when I came in here were all worms alive. And these things were inching around from the door and they had made their way all the way up into there. And there's just, there's just worms scattered everywhere. It's like the plagues of Egypt around here. Worms, worms. We got worms. So that's been the start of the day. Thank you for joining us this morning. It's always that good life, even in the mayhem. I'm gonna send it back home to Rebecca, who's getting ready for our special time today. So I'll send it back to, to her. We're actually got invited to go to this, uh, what's it called? It is called Table for Two at Family Life. So we're going to this uh, lunch date where they're gonna teach us about conversation starters. I don't know what to expect from that. I don't even know if I necessarily wanted that, but I just want, thought it would be kind of fun for us to get out and do something like that. I wanted do so that. Yeah. <laughs> do something together right and uh invest in the marriage at the same time can never go wrong with that so i'm looking forward to it it's gonna be fun we may see some people that we know there and we'll get a chance to just be together to talk to talk to talk have some time out for just the two of us i told you a little bit ago when we have a worm invasion at the church that we've been getting a lot of rain i'll show you a little bit of that these are these are uh some uh are they rice fields or something looks like looks like we're going over uh, you know over a bridge that's so cool yeah There's so much just water everywhere wow all right we're getting some uh, sunshine breaking through the, the clouds you can see We just got here to Family Life just a second ago and we're about to go inside. You can see the, the place right here. It's a pretty day now. We get, we're kind of going in and out of rain, but the sunshine's just trying to fight to get out, uh, making things really nice around here. So we walked in the front door and there's absolutely nobody in here. So we're just gonna get to do whatever we want, I guess. We just go play. All right, so let's play. I feel like we can go play hide and seek in here. Yeah. <laughs> so I literally have no idea where to go and there's nobody here to talk to us. Hello, hello. Uh, I don't know what time it is. My, my phone just says seven, eight, nine, ten seconds. So we've been standing out here, but there is zero people here. Okay. And we don't know where to go. Are you here for the lunch? Yes. Oh, okay. Uh, you're, you are the first ones here. Oh, we are? Yes. All right, so we got our table set. We're kind of late because we kept running into people we know. Um, they got some stuff here, I guess, built for communication. They got some salads. Now, the funny thing is, is I don't eat salad because I'm too picky. And I can't eat salad because my body doesn't digest it very well. <laughs> so, it's real pretty, though. You can kind of see in here. Ooh, we'll set up. I eat these. So they gave us this little salad course question. Let's see what we got. What's a favorite memory from when we were dating? What made it so much fun? We never dated, which is a whole other story by itself. Mm -hmm. So maybe we could answer this one a little bit differently. Okay. I liked being able to go um, out in groups with lots of people. That's what I was thinking. Hanging out. That was one of my favorites. And then one of the 
best and worst moments was all together whenever you went and asked my dad if he could marry me. <laughs> oh yeah. Because that was, was very memorable and it was a challenge, but it was so sweet afterwards because then we went back to my place and I remember giving you a card that had two little babies on the front of it. One that kind of looked like me, one that kind of looked like you on the front. And on the inside of the card, I can still remember what it said. And it said, before our lives began, God knew. I remember that. And I gave yeah. it to you and I gave you your first hug that I ever gave you. Apart from whenever it was your mom's funeral because I gave you one in a line with a lot of people. For me, it would be um, definitely something like our group time when we go out to Pinnacle Mountain with our friends since we didn't date, but we hung out in groups and we were, mm -hmm. that's kind of how we were in each other's presence. Or we would go out to the movies together or we'd go over to Atlanta's home and play cards mm -hmm. and dominoes. Those kinds of things were some of my kind of favorite memories of that time. And then, but real specific was that one day where we went to the nursing home to do ministry and then we went to Macaroni Grill and mm -hmm. that's when we sat and talked and God was really doing something there and and I just spent a lot of time hanging out and talking with you, getting to know you mm -hmm. and at the time you really sensed that I was, you are supposed to marry me but I still was clueless anyways. And you know what, a cool fact, a fun fact about that is yesterday was 20 years since that day. Yeah, I saw it on the calendar. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That was a very cool memory. It was really cool. Two hours later. We left family life. We got to do a whole lot of, whole lot of, whole lot of talking. And then we went and grabbed some groceries, picked up along the way. We're headed home. We're about to see the kids. I have not seen any of the kids all day long since I left so early this morning. Everybody was in bed when I left. So we're about to walk in and say hi to them and i'm gonna take you along with us but hey thank you for your support coming along with us each monday uh oh we're almost out of gas you see that <laughs> uh oh now we gotta make it to the gas station see there's always an adventure now we just gotta see if we can make it to the gas station without running out of gas can we do it i don't know <laughs> since we're learning about communication whose fault is it that the gas is on e well everything is always your fault right <laughs> Who, whose van is this? I think it's under the name Bobby Morgan. <laughs> that would be. Can <laughs> you smell that skunk? Oh. I do smell the skunk. Oh man, that skunk stinks. Yeah. Right, when I was a kid and we passed by a bad smelling skunk like that, my sister would start complaining about it and I'd just go, smells good to me. I loved it because I knew it would aggravate her so much. <laughs> I like smell of skunk. But you like anything that all right, so I guess we better go home, go grab some gas before we uh, go home. I thought you always had gas. More moments later. Hi. So, I need to talk about the elephant in the room. That I went to the bathroom? Uh-uh. It's this pimple that I've got right here. It's <laughs> like, it's like, <laughs> it just growed, growed right there in that little crevice. It growed. It grew. I mean, it grew in that little crevice right there. Like I'm a teenager again. Like I'm growing a little antler. <laughs> Ew. You never know when they're going to go. We're at the bank depositing some money. So let it be known that I've got worms, I've got gas, and I got paid. <laughs> <laughs> I think that I am guest starring on the Bobby Markin show. <laughs> Thank you. Merry Christmas. You got paid. <laughs> hey, Savage. Hey. How you doing, bud? Oh, mm -hmm. here comes some more. Daddy! <laughs> Here's another one. Here's another one. Oh, look at that. Hi. Can I have love? Mama! This is your, 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 your phone has enough battery today? For what? Angry Birds? Angry Birds? Yeah. I think it does. Until, until you want to or not want to. Daddy. If you want to just save your batteries for away, you have for something now. I think, I think, I think we have enough battery to play Angry Birds. That's good. <laughs> you think so? Daddy. I just turned it. Huh? 
Right. I thought I just. Where's, what about my this? love? I don't. I don't think you. Oh yeah. Either. No, I don't know. Aww, cool. I don't know. <laughs> All right, all is well. We are home now, and uh, I think we're going to unwind for the day. Thank you for uh, hanging with us through all the, the craziness of the day, the fun of the day, the simplicity of the day. This is not a really long vlog. And it's that good life. Thank you for watching our vlog. We want to get as many views as we can, as many likes as we can. Thank you, my dad. 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 Thank you. That's what I heard. Is that what you said? <laughs> See ya.